what happens to you when you get param chaitanya is something to be understood the subtleties <coughs> as i said we are made of five elements all right so when you get your awakening when the kundalini reaches sosdara and opens out your fontanelle bone area you become one with the divine power then this divine power itself starts flowing through a connection is established now when she it starts flowing through you this shakti this starts flowing through. then what happens the subtle part we should understand the subtle part is like this that these five elements we are made of these vibrations gradually start breaking into the subtler form of which they are made the first element that comes out is light tej light is the first element that comes out so the essence of the first element is light we call it tej tejas is written of course in sanskrit but we should understand that how the light pervades sar yoga so much and you see the light all everywhere so the first element which is light and you can say in english uh, the uh, light's subtle thing is uh you can say enlightenment you can say but enlightenment has another meaning so we can say it's tej tej for example a person who gets realization has a face which is very radiant so you can say the radiance the radiance is the subtlety of the light so this radiance starts showing on your face radiance start uh, expressing itself and with that radiance people get uh, impressed and they start thinking something special about this personality which has radiance now you have seen my photographs also wherever they are many a times you find lots of light up that is nothing but the light in me is giving radiance because the light becomes subtler when the light becomes subtler in me light light is one of the elements when it becomes subtler then it gives radiance and so this is the subtle um, growth within you that takes place your face is also start shining <coughs> they to have radiance and they to have a kind of a different complexion i would say this radiance is to be understood is the subtle uh, of the light of which we are made light in the gross manner then after this from the light comes the second thing which we call as vayu in sanskrit meaning the air so the air that we have which is gross air what is the subtle of air is this cool breeze that you get the cool breeze is the subtle of that air so the subtle of what you understand as cool breeze is what we call vibrations the subtle of that is air which is a part and parcel of our make so this cool breeze is the second uh, thing that you start getting subtler and subtler when your growth take place all these subtle things start expressing themselves it's not only that you get vibrations but you get the cool breeze and that is the subtle of air that has built you then comes 
the water. We are also made of water. What is the subtle of water is uh, Sometimes English language, you know, becomes a little short of uh, expression, but they call it, uh, I mean, which makes the skin, um, hard skin, soft. The skin becomes soft. This is another sign of a realized soul. Then a person who is a realized soul becomes very soft person, very delicate. When he talks to somebody in his voice, there is warmth, or I should say there is... Skaten apne apani, Hindi mein kaitein apani hona. To have that flow, watery flow and uh, coolness of the water. So that is the another subtle thing, that should be expressed in your behavior, on your skin, on your dealings with others, that you should be like the water which is mobile, which is uh, cooling, which is soothing, which is cleansing. So this also becomes a part and parcel of your being once you become a realized soul. With this water you have also another thing, we call it as Agni, means the fire. So you also have fire, but it's a very silent fire. It doesn't burn anybody, but it burns all the wrong things within. Whatever wrong things you have, it burns, and it burns the wrong things in other people also. For example, a person comes with a great anger towards you. What happens that this anger becomes cooled down? with the fire that is there. Moreover, a realized soul cannot get burnt, fire cannot burn, the burning cannot come to him. It's very important to understand. Also, if you are doing something wrong, it may burn you. But if you are a good Sahaja and uh, I should say a perfect Sahaja fire will never burn you. We have an example of Sita Ji that she went into the fire pit, nothing burnt. So this is what one has to understand, that once you get to the subtleties of the fire, so the fire and the water, both of them become sort of uh, divine. For example, the water which uh, you touch, water you drain, whatever you uh, uh, put your hand in the water, the water becomes vibrated, means what? The subtlety of the water comes in it, the coolness, uh, curing power also comes in that water. So when it becomes subtler, all these powers start showing, which you can see for yourself, you don't have to experiment. Then the lastly is the Mother Earth. It's most important, is Mother Earth. There's a photograph you might see which was taken in Russia in my dacha, where the Kundalini is in the Mother Earth. Clearly, it's there. And it is the Mother Earth which shows. For example, I've seen flowers, if you keep them in my room, they blo blossom. They can become very big like that. Uh, never people have seen such big flowers, sometimes they see. I'm doing nothing, I'm just sitting down and what happens to the flowers? You see, now there, this principle of the Mother Earth works. The subtle Mother Earth, his works, it's a mother. And that gives you all the nourishment and makes you grow healthy. And this is how this subtlety works of the Mother Earth. Mother Earth is the one who is a giver of birth to all these flowers and all these trees and all that. But it also plays a big part in us. It's not only the Mother Earth uh, that exists without our connection. And we do not respect the Mother Earth. 
we have polluted it, we have done all kinds of things, we have removed the trees and we have made a mess out of her, but she is our mother. And so many subtle things of this mother are come into us. One of them is gravity. A person becomes very attractive, not in the physical sense, but in the spiritual sense. Such a person attracts others. They feel attracted and uh, they feel that something special is about this person. This, this is one of the quality of the Mother Earth. If she had not kept us attracted, we would have fallen out with her movement. And also other qualities of the Mother Earth also start manifesting within us and we become very, I should say, extremely uh, tolerant, patient person. Tolerant and patient. Extremely tolerant and patient. But if you are not tolerant, if you are hot-tempered and all that, that Mother Earth principle has not expressed itself. Look at the Mother Earth, how much she tolerates our nonsense, how many wrong things we do against her, but still she tolerates. Sri Ganesha's quality is to tolerate, to begin with. Up to a point he tolerates in the same way. We to become extremely tolerant, patient and forgiving. This is the minimum of minimum that should happen to all the Sahaja Yogis who have vibrations. Because now I have told you all the things that are expressed in your vibrations. It's a thing to be understood that what you have become now is something very great. It's not happened to others. It's not happened to somebody who is not being a Sahaja Yogi. 